is the time to make a change. I'll never give up on my dreams. This is the time to fly so high against the contrary wind. I've got to hold my head up high. Oh yes, I've got to believe. Launch out of my comfort zone and take a bold step. I was not born to be a failure. Victorious day to all. This is Open Mic with Jasmine and welcome to Rhapsody of Realities Devo. A daily devotional book written by our man of God, Pastor Chris Ayakilome. Today's reading is the offspring of love. God's love DNA flows within you. To the Bible, 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 4 to 6 says, Love is very patient and kind, never jealous or envious, never boastful or proud, never haughty or selfish or rude. Love does not demand its own way, it is not irritable or touchy, it does not hold grudges and will hardly even notice when others do it wrong. It is never glad about injustice, but rejoices whenever truth wins out. Let us talk. The Bible tells us that God is love. 1 John chapter 4, verse 8 Love is His nature, who He is. When we talk about the attributes of love, therefore we're talking about the attributes of God. Apply this to our theme verse and it will read, God is very patient and kind, never jealous or envious, never boastful or proud, never haughty or selfish or rude. God does not demand His own way. Hallelujah. Recall how Jesus lived when He walked the earth. He was love manifested. His works were works of love. His words were words of love. He was love in motion. Jesus in Galilee was the instruction of love in the streets of Galilee. Love invaded that atmosphere. Now, what about you? The Bible says you're God's offspring. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 23. Meaning that you're the reproduction of love. The offspring of an eagle would be an eagle. The offspring of a human would be a human. The offspring of love, God therefore is love. So, if your name is Tom, for example, you should say Tom is very patient and kind. Tom is never envious nor boils over with jealousy. Tom is not boastful or vaglarious. Tom does not display himself haughtily. Praise God. God's word shows us who we are. It's a mirror. When you look at that mirror, don't forget what you look like. Patient kind, tolerant, loving, and humble. If arrogance or hatred tries to gain vent through you, refuse and declare, I'm not arrogant, I'm humble, I'm full of love as Jesus is. I live in His name, therefore I walk and act like Him. Let the love of Christ which is the bond of perfection, rule your heart always. Lavishly express the love nature of God in your spirit and radiate the beauty 
and glories of heaven to your world. Go deeper. Read the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 2, 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 8, and 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 4 to 8. Let us speak. I radiate and express God's love with all humility, gentleness, and patience. I relate with others graciously, lavishly expressing the beauty and glories of heaven to my world because the love of God is shed abroad in my heart by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Let's do this. Meditate on these words. I'm accommodating and kind. I'm humble and full of love as the Lord Jesus is. I live in His name and therefore, I walk and act like Him. Jesus is the very Word. If you are not yet transformed, renewed, reborn, I invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life today by saying these words of prayer. Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says, that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I believe Jesus died for me and that he was buried and raised from the dead. Right now, I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord of my life. I receive by faith eternal life into my spirit. Thank you Lord for saving my soul. I now have Christ dwelling in me. I am saved, I am born again, I am a new creation. Congratulations! You are now a child of God. From today, work out your salvation like never before. God bless you. Kindly heart and comment. Let us know on how the episode helped you today. Now that you're blessed, don't let the message stop on you, please share. And help us reach the ends of the world. God bless you. It is important for you to be led in the right direction. Message us today.